welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a how-to tutorial of some milk bath acrylic nails. Now, I have tried this once before and I did not like how they came out. This was probably like a year or two ago and you can search it on my YouTube channel because it must be somewhere on here, but I did not like it. So we're going to try it again. The first thing that I'm doing is I'm grabbing my fine sanding band, my mandrel bit, and my e-file and going over the entire natural nail to remove any oils that our nails naturally produce. We want to do this step to avoid any lifting and there are of course a lot more steps to do to avoid lifting but this is one of the main ones and the very first one that you have to do when doing nails. I then go in and apply my 3XL square no seeker tips in a box from Crafts by Nine and I'm going to glue them down with my nail house pink nail glue. Then I cut the tips to down to my desired length, which I'm going to go for a long nail set today. And then I'm going to go in with my nail file, which is from Kiara Sky, the 8080 hand file. I did this because the tips that I use were a bit bigger. I'm running out of the ones that I usually use because I've been doing so many videos back to back. And um, I wanted to use the bigger ones, so all I have to do is kind of just like file them on the sides and that's it. And then I went over the entire nail with my e-file just to blend in the nail tip to the natural nail. I'm now grabbing my dehydrator from Crafts by Nine and my Tones Primer. I apply one coat of the dehydrator all over the natural nail and two of the primer all over the natural nail. You do not want to do it on the tip because it doesn't really matter. You just definitely need to do it all over the natural nail. These are the dried flowers that I'm going to be using. I've had these for years and years, you guys. Probably one of the first things that I purchased from Amazon when I first started doing nails. And I rarely ever use them. I don't even think I ever used them on a client when I did take clients. Not that I can recall. Um, so they're just there and I definitely want to use them up. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I don't want to use this color because it's too pretty. But I was like, no, let's make a cute milk bath nail set today. <laughs> So the two acrylics that I'm going to be using today are from Not Polish, and they are Milky White and Clear. The acrylic brush is from Not Polish, and the monomer is from Kiara Sky. So I already separated the dried flowers that I'm going to be using in today's set. They're just random. Some of them are like the leaf part. Some of them are flowers. I kind of just scattered them around with different colors that I know are going to like look really nice together. Just random. And then some of them come like full size so i just cut them down with some some scissors sorry and um, now i'm going to go in with the acrylic application so i am going to be doing um a full nail of the milky white as the base and we do this as a regular acrylic application we don't need to be worrying about the dried flowers right now um just do the nail as you normally would I think I did about four beads on this nail. I really wanted to take my time to really not leave any bumps or anything because we're going to go in and make it a little bit thicker with the dried flowers. So I just, it was like a medium to th like thick nail. It would, it's in between thin and thick, the nail, because we are going to add layers to it after this. So you don't want it to be too thin, but you also don't want it to be too thick. If that makes any sense i will be showing it to you from the side so you can see the thickness that i left it at and of course it's completely up to you you can make it thinner or you can make it thicker but just know that you will be adding the flowers on top of that and then encapsulating it with more acrylic so you always have to keep that in mind if it were just like a basic acrylic application then yeah of course you can just create the thickness that you want but you always have to know what you're going to be doing to know the thickness of the nail that you're going for which in this case we're going to be adding about two to even three more layers of things on top so try to not make it too thick but have like a nice apex and have it be really really smooth so when you add those other layers on top it all comes out really really nice and works together and you do very minimal filing at the end 
So this is what the application looks like. And I really love this color, the smoky white. It's gorgeous. And you can even make it even more milkier, a little bit more see-through if you mix that milky white with a little bit of clear acrylic. But this color is perfect. It's not too white and it's not too clear. So it really is the perfect milky white. So um, I then apply a thin bead of clear and I'm going to be doing this like a little bit at a time per nail because it does take a little bit for me to stick them on the nail, the flowers. So I apply a thin bead of that clear and then I apply the flower directly on top and I kind of press it down with my acrylic brush just to make sure that it stays in place. You do not want it to be sticking up or else it's going to be a little bit more complicated to get acrylic in there and it's going to take longer and it's probably going to take more product and more bulkiness so you want it to lay it down as flat as possible onto the nail when you're doing this step so you can avoid all of that later on i'm applying the clear acrylic to the rest of the nail and i'm doing it in small parts where i'm kind of eyeballing where i'm going to do next and where i'm going to put the dried flowers next um, because I don't want the clear acrylic to dry too fast and then it's not going to stick and I'm just going to add more and more and more and we don't want that either so I'm just applying like a small bead and then putting down the dried flowers pressing it down make sure that it stays and then working my way up towards the cuticle area because if I would have just done one bead all over the nail I probably wouldn't have made it on time for all of them to be sticking down and for for me to be able to just stick them all on at once that's why I work in little pieces at a time and then I have like a little corner right there and I have one piece of dried flower left so I'm just randomly scattering them around the nail to make sure that it's like doesn't look the same but it looks really really nice and this is what it looks like I'm completely obsessed and the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply the milky white to the entire nail and this is gonna be a very thin bead I should have gone a little bit thinner but it's okay because we're gonna go in and file so it, it kind of takes off a lot of the product but enough to where it covers the nail and you can see like the flowers but it also looks like a milky effect so the thinner the better but you can like cover it all up and you can also go in and file the nail to make it the thickness that you want and give it like that nice apex and everything so this is what it looks like on the side it looks a little bit scary and it looks like you can't see any of the flowers i'm gonna go in with my 80 80 hand file to file off the sides because um a little bit of that yellow flower was sticking out but no worries because now that it's dry i can just file off that little excess part and it'll come right off and nothing else will just that little part and then um it is pretty bulky right now, so I'm trying to debulk it as much as I can and just make it a nice crisp shape. So I'm going on each side and at the bottom as well with this 80-80 hand file. And then we're going to go in with the bit from Kiara Sky, the e-file from Kiara Sky. And everything is linked down below, as always, down in the description box. I went over the entire nail. I really took my time with this, you guys because I wanted to debulk it as much as I can without getting to the flowers, but enough to where the top milky white acrylic is taken off and you can see a lot more of the flowers. Um, and you'll see that the difference of when I first stopped applying the milky white to now debulking it with this um, bit, it really made a difference and it really made it pop and give it that milky bath effect that I was looking for. Um, in my past video, I basically did the like did up to where the dried flowers were and then I encapsulated it with clear acrylic and it didn't really look like a milk bath um, because you could see all the flowers. But I really like this where it kind of shows but it kind of doesn't but you can still see the flowers but it's not... All the way see through if that makes sense so i 100 percent prefer this over the other one that i did thought this one came out so so good and i was really proud of it it wasn't like bulky it wasn't lumpy it really came out the way that i had pictured it and i'm so so glad it did 
um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below. But I really took my time with this. I put the e-file at 5,000 RPMs and went over the entire nail a few times, looking at it from side to side, making sure that it was how I wanted it. Then I'm going in with the pink buffer blocks just to smooth everything out. And now I'm going to go in and put the glossy no wipe gel top coat from Crafts by Nine. And that this is what it looks like. I think it looks so, so good. I really love this and I hope you guys do too. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to comment down below or send me any inspo pictures on my Instagram of things that you guys want to see me do on here. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.